Hola, Reyes High Kings and Queens. I pray that today I find you full of expectancy, full of excitement with expectancy. And before I get into today's devotional, which is always a great one when we have time that we're intimate with the Holy Spirit, um, I want to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. I know that today could be an exciting, fun-filled day. For some of us, it can be a day where we are reflecting and thanking and missing our mothers because they may not be here. They may be in the hospital. They may be in heaven. Um, we may be without so if you are grieving if you are mourning if you are living with you know the memories of your mother I'm praying for you I um, pray that the Lord shines his face upon you I have lost two people that were a great influence and uh, example as being as a mother in my life which were my grandmothers and I lost them in the same year um, and today like I wake up and I have such a thankfulness um, but today like when I woke up you know, I thought I reflected on them and um, I was just like, Lord, thank you for them. I miss them um, dearly. And some of us lose our, our mothers or whoever it was that, you know, was an example or was your mother. Because some of us have aunts that are our mothers, grandmothers. And, um, some of us have different people that play the role of our mothers uh, in our lives. So I'm praying for you. I'm in agreement that the Lord will comfort you um, and that if you miss your mother today, or whoever it was that you know was the example or took care of you, nurtured you, cultured you, was the mother um, in your life, and you no longer have her. Um, I just pray that you reflect and you think on everything that you know they impacted in your life, because I recognize when we miss someone, especially when we miss them so you know deeply or dearly, it's because they had a huge impact in our lives, and it it just turns me around to say, Lord, thank you for my grandmother. Thank you. Um, could I have had her longer in my life? Yes, I would have loved to have her longer, um, but both of them. But I realized that God's timing is all for a reason for certain seasons. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful that I had my grandmothers and I have my mother here today. I'm extremely thankful. And um, I'm just learning that where God, you know, there, there's some losses in our life that we just feel like, why, how, you know, is God a loving God? Why would he take that from me? But I will tell you, everything comes from God. Everyone comes from God. You know, the trees, the earth, everything. We don't understand a lot of things that happen. But I am praying for you if you are grieving, you are lost, or you are sad. Wherever it is that I find you, I am praying for you. I pray that the Lord shines his face upon you. And that um, you, whatever it is that you're feeling, I pray that the Lord gives you great revelation, clarification, and understanding that he loves you. And wherever it is that you feel you have lost, he is there. So God bless you and thank you for your time invested today, kings or queens. I pray that I find you um, excited. If not, I pray that I leave you a little with a little bit of joy, a little bit of peace. Um, and that today's devotional will give you a great expectation. Um, that's today's title is Greater Expectations. I'm going to open in prayer. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your presence, your partnership, Lord, that we get to be in partnership with you, Father. We thank you for your uncommon, unearned, unexplainable wisdom, knowledge, revelation, insight, clarity, spiritual discernment, joy, peace. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for your presence. We honor you, Lord, and we thank you that we are alive and we have air in our lungs today. And if we are sad today, Father, we thank you for even the sadness because we know, Father, that everything we feel is indicating what we are walking through, what we are experiencing. And even if we're walking through the valley of the shadow of the death, we know that our Father is with us. And thank you, Father, for, for your uh, unearned preferential treatment today. May we take that uh, preferential treatment out into the world and bless others, Father, where they are in need. May we be a smile. May we be wisdom. May we be joy. May we be peace. May we be a ray of your face, Father, for those that we cross paths with today and every day. And we thank you for your word activating and accomplish everything Thing that you sent it to accomplish in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and today we're reading from Psalm 111 um, 2 to 2 to 3 great are the works of the Lord they are pondered by all who delight in them glorious and majestic are his deeds and his righteousness endures forever Oh, Father, I thank you, Father, for all the mothers, all the queens, uh, even kings or fathers that are under the sound of my voice. Some of us uh, play the role of both. And uh, I just thank you, Father, for the strength and the knowledge and that wherever it is I find you, I pray that you have a blessed, um, just a love filled day of peace and joy today as you celebrate your Mother's Day. Um, 
And may you be celebrated. And maybe if you're not have been celebrated, I pray that the Lord gives you this joy of celebration in your spirit. Because I would tell you, I am a mother and a grandmother and an aunt. And I have been in a place of my life. There was a Mother's Day where I didn't have my children. And I was walking through the valley of the shadows of death. And Mother's Day was just a very horrible day for me. But God, he turned it around. So if you're walking today and I find you and you're not in, um, if you're just not, you know, in, in, in peace and unity with your children children right now i pray that wherever they are that the lord comforts them and and turns them back to 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 his ways so he they they will honor their parents i've been there and i will tell you that the lord reminded me and showed me that he is with me no matter who leaves my life no matter who i am without he is with me and because he is with me i will fear no evil and i will not allow my emotions to ruin my day so if i find you in that area i'm praying for you i'm in agreement with you and I pray that the Lord's presence is enough for you to take on everything that you're called to take on, for what you're called to create, for what you are what you don't have that you may be for others. Maybe there's somewhere that you don't have that. I remember I didn't have my kids and I was just like, it was just a, a trying time for me. Um, and I remember like, I was like, well, you know what? What I don't have in my life, I'm going to go be that for others. Because yes, I'm walking through the valley of shadow. Yes, I'm going through trial tribulation. Yes, I feel like I don't even want to live today. But I'm going to, because I am alive, I'm going to go and I'm going to make someone else's Mother's Day special. I'm going to go and be something that I'm missing in my life. And that fulfilled me and healed me in that season. And the next season, I remember like I had my children and I was just like, I thank God that he never left me. He was with me. So I don't know who that's words for, but maybe you're walking through that right now. I'm in prayers. I'm in agreement with you. And I am praying for you. So in Jesus name, have your way, Lord, today. Thank you for us having great wisdom and knowledge in this uh, devotional time with you. And may we have a, a, a revealing, the veil removed. May we have clarification. May we have um, spiritual discernment. And may we have an understanding. In Jesus' name, have your way, God. Have your way, Lord. Um, so great are the works of the Lord. Works are, the verb is being engaged. The noun is a physical effort. Um, let me give you more. This is Google's um, translation. It is being engaged in physical or mental activity in order to achieve a result. A result. Do work. Activ the noun, excuse me, is activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose or a result. That is um, the definition of work. <clears throat> and what God is saying is greater are the works of the Lord. That they are, His works are great. They are superb. They are amazing. They are going to be significant in our life. It doesn't matter what you're walking through right now. His works and what you could be walking through right now as a mother, an aunt, a father, whatever it is that you're walking through right now, it, it has a great purpose. There's going to be a deed that comes from that. And what is a deed? It's an action performed mentally or consciously by God. So every, it might be a lesson and it, it's going to be a learning experience. They are pondered by all who delight in him. Greater the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight on him. They are pondered. So um, as I was researching, what the scripture is, the meaning of it is that the content can be summed up in the word righteousness. God is righteousness in all and does. And his righteousness endures forever. It may seem as though everything is all wrong. But Psalm 111 assures us that the appearances are not the reality. What you are seeing right now, it's not the reality. God is the ultimate reality and he is altogether righteous in Jesus name. So this is telling us that, excuse me, that's my grandson. This is telling us that no matter what we see or what we're going through, that this is, this is going to, to, it's not going to, it's his righteousness endures forever. So it means that whatever it is that we are going through right now, his righteousness is going to endure forever. It may not feel or, or seem as something good is going to come out of it. But I am learning that when I walked through this with my children, and sometimes I still do, God was doing these miraculous things. He was doing great works. He was doing things. I kept taking delight in him in this season. And I don't know who this is for right now, but I kept on doing what God called me to do, even though I was hurting, even though I literally did not want to live another day. I kept doing what God called me to. And glorious and majestic actions came out of that. I was called to, and I've always told, I, I, I teach my kids this. I've always told them that there's a season and a reason for everything we go through. And it, it, like, so I remember like when God gave me the revelation of when my children were, they left, they left, they went to live with their father and they left in a very kind of 
kind of cold way however it happened and i remember i couldn't believe what had happened but i just kept studying god's word and i was like you know what job lost everything there was a season where job lost everything and because he lost everything you know he 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 continued to serve god was it easy no it wasn't easy for him but he served and he worshiped god he lost his whole family but in the end the lord you know had given him everything plus abundantly um I still didn't understand a lot of things, but that that in that season I felt it was a job season where everything was removed from my life, my family, my loved ones, and I was just like, Lord, why? I thought I did everything right, but because God is doing things, God is answering. And I remember like reading because we had a prayer wall, my children and I, and I remember looking at the prayer wall in the time where I felt the most lowest time of my life. I remember reading the prayer wall, and you know, my children had put something about their father, and I remember thinking to myself, like, you know. God is answering something in their lives. And for me, it feels like death. And a lot of the times we're going to walk through things where we don't understand. But a lot of times God could be answering someone else's prayer that is causing us, you know, sadness, mourning, heartbreak. I, I would tell you my grandmother, uh, one of my grandmothers was, well, both of my grandmas were always telling me like, well, if it's my time, I'm ready. And I remember thinking like, well, I'm not grown yet. There's still a lot of things here that like, I need you. But that was selfish. And I think back now on a lot of things that I've experienced now. And I'm like, God, I'm so glad my grandma's not here anymore. And, you know, people are like, what? And I'm like, because there's a season and a reason. My grandmothers, you know, they lived, one of them lived to be in her 80s. The other one lived to be 79. And I remember my grandma at 79, she was like, you know, I, God was generous with me. I got to see your kids grow up. I just wanted to see you grow up, you know. And hold on, I'm sorry. I have my grandson. Mother's Day. Mother, mother duties. Come here, baby. Come on. Sorry, um, today's Mother's Day and uh, I, I just, I've had him the whole weekend. Come here, baby, you want to come on with me? So in honor of Mother's Day, I have my grandson. Hi. Say hi. So what I learned is that when God, I remember there was a season where God told me like, I'm going to multiply you. I'm going to multiply your family. And I remember my children weren't even talking to me. I was walking seriously. I was like, did my kids ever love me? I mean, I don't know how many of y'all can experience it. Y'all have been through a trying time in your life where your kids could have betrayed you or they could turn into something that you're just like, who are you? Like, do you even love me? I'm your mother. Like, doesn't God call you to honor me? And that I honor my mom because I'm like, you know what, Lord? Like, I honor you. I fear you. And I'm learning that God did multiply my children. You know, I'm a grandmother in this season. In that season, I remember God would tell me, like, I remember I would hear this song called The Blessed, and it was talking about, may your children and may your families, and God will bless them and multiply. I remember I would hear that song, and I was so bitter. And I was like, I don't like this song. It was so hard and hurting for me because I was like, and this is what this is saying, that you're going to see things, and God's telling you something else. He's telling you, prepare. I remember he was telling me, like, pray, pray for your grandchildren. I prayed for my children's spouses when they were like eight or nine and then i started praying for my grandchildren i think when my daughter was like 15 and they were like what mom you want to be a grandma i was like no no i don't want to be a grandma yet but god told me to pray for them and here oh, they oh. are and i'm learning now that god may be telling you right now to do something that it seems ridiculous it's like noah was building the ark there was no rain but he was building the ark and that would god was telling me that time pray for your grandchildren my kids weren't even talking to me they didn't even want to talk to me. They didn't want to see me. And I realized that. And, and let me read, go into today's devotion. I, I get ahead of myself. Father, in the name of Jesus, have your way. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Queens. Let me begin. Greater expectations. You want to read with me? Not everything goes the way we pray or believe at sometimes. At times, our expectations end in disappointment instead of victory. When a friend relapses after you stood with her through rehab again. When you play the political game at the office and still don't get the promotion. Mm. When someone dies of cancer after a fierce fight of faith. It's in those moments when faith shakers rock our world that we have to trust. When disappointment eats away at us. Hold on, let me read, baby. You want to read with me? We have to persevere and believe God anyway. We have to follow. We have to allow that experience to build our trust. We have to believe God is up to something bigger. Amen. Bring your Holy Spirit. Working all things together for our good. So the next, Romans 8, 28. Oof, that one's like one of my favorites. That's what we wait with perseverance. Happy Mother's Day, Queen. Thank you for joining me today. So the next time you face an unmet expectation, let it spark in you even greater expectations of what God is up to. Your loving God is able to do imme immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine. Ephesians 3.20. If you want to read more on that. So I would tell you what God had been telling me too. That in that season, 
And now that you want some? So when all of that was happening with my children, I'm being completely vulnerable with you because I remember some of y'all might be having a Mother's Day. We were just like, what? I learned that God, I didn't, I didn't, I felt like I was sending prayers up. It's like when you send a text message and you don't receive anything and it shows delivered. Every time I would pray and ask God, you know, my children, this, my children, that I started praying. I was like, Lord, wherever they are, send them people to remind them of who they are in you. And I remember how painful it was. And God told me, you are called to these people's life right now. And I was like, but those are my children. Like, I love them. I was created to be a mother. I, I, I realized that God wasn't talking to me. My prayers were being delivered. They were, and I didn't understand them at the time. But I remember God um, told me, like, I'm sending them people. And when I got united with my kids again and talked to my kids, because it was like a year. Um, I remember, like, it felt like I was in prison. And I realized that God wasn't talking um to me but he was talking to them he was sending people my, my son would tell me that he would randomly be at a gas station and that people would go pray over him randomly his friends would like you know invite him to church people would tell me that they would see them and that you know they would pray for them and you know all these things and i was like wow that like god wasn't talking to me he got my my prayers but he was talking to them he was answering my prayers yes papa he was answering my prayers even though I didn't feel him. And I literally wanted to take my own life because just because I felt like I wasn't getting a response from him when he wasn't talking to me. Thank you, baby. He wasn't talking to me, but he was talking to them. And right now, whoever or wherever it is that I find you, that you feel that nothing great is going to come out of what you're experiencing, I am here to tell you, you know, full-blown testimony, proof that God is talking to your solution. He is talking to your children. Maybe you're not talking to them. Continue praying for them. Continue praying that the Lord aligns them and hears God's voice greater than any other voice they hear. I, I taught my kids the word of God. I took them to church two, three times a week. They hated it. And as they grow up to be adults, I realize now that when they're going through trial and tribulation, they're like, no, mom, we know. You know, and I used to tell my kids, like, your actions don't, because they're like, oh, yeah, we fear God. And I'll be like, your actions don't look like you fear God. But everything and anything happens for a reason. And just know that um, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, teach your child in the way that they should grow. And when they grow old from it, they will never depart from it. It's not only what we teach our kids and what we say, it's how we live, how we example. And now I thank God that, um, you know, my daughter doesn't do half the things that I did growing up, you know, and I did a lot of bad things. And I realize now that being a mother, it takes a village. It takes a community. And I'm learning that <laughs> even with my grandchildren, um, I tell my, 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 tell my grandson, like, he's only like two and a half. And I talk to him and I'm like, Jesus? And literally like now I learned last night that Jesus to him is when he raises his hand. And, um, I'm so thankful that the Lord, um, that his righteousness endures forever and great are his works. And right now, maybe you're walking through a season where everything does not look great. I will tell you in the season where I didn't have my kids, the Lord healed me from codependency. <laughs> I didn't even know that I had a codependent relationship with my children. I didn't want them to leave me. And um, I learned my mom was like that too. And I've learned now that, you know, I want them to leave and, and explore life and to live life to the fullest. And wherever it is they go and they want me to come, you know, I will join. <laughs> and um, let me read you today's prayer. I get emotional because I don't know who it is that's under the sound of my voice that you're walking through a season right now where there's no unity with you and your children. And, and I'm praying for you. God's going to turn it around. Literally, prophetically, turn around where you're at and God will turn it around. <laughs> Today's prayers, thank you, Lord, for the comfort you offer me and the greater expectations you provide when my expectations go unmet. I will tell you, when we have unmet expectations, we get disappointed and we blame God. And God has shown me now that it's not, I can't give him my prayer request and expect for him to answer it the way I say for him to answer. I'm learning that he has to answer it his way. That's why he's God. He's all knowing. He knows what I need and what I don't. And that's why I pray now for God's will be done because I don't want his may's will. Um, I've lived some things that I'm like, no, I didn't like the way that turned out because of the way that I was sowing. I didn't like what I harvest. So I pray that that blesses you. And today's quote is coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. That, that is, that's a word right there. Coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. Albert Einstein wrote that. One of the wise men that uh, I really like look up to. So remember that whatever it is that you're experiencing right now, it's God's way of remaining anonymous. I will tell you that unshakable. I told y'all that May was mind aligning and advancing. Yahweh is what May the word was for, for us. 
And I'm recognizing now that I've been hearing, because I had said unshakable, we're going to have um, a maid that was going to be shook up. God is a savior, but he is also a sifter. He will come and sift and shake things up so you don't go content where you are. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, losing someone that you love greatly. I don't know why or how that works. But I know God is great, and I know that his deeds and righteousness endures forever. And I know that whatever you're walking through, if you lost someone, there's just some people that they'll never be replaced. No one could ever be replaced. But I know now that some people have left my life because other people had to be joined in my life. And I lost two great women in my life. Can you stop that? Two great women in my life that helped raise me and shape me to the woman I was and taught me of God. And I gained, at that moment, two grandchildren. And now I have three grandchildren. And I'm learning now that God always, you have a lost, but he will always fill it with something that will bless your life. And maybe it doesn't look like a blessing right now. Maybe you're like, you know, I lost my mother. I lost someone dear to me right now. But I, I tell you that let the Lord or you be what you lost. And it's a great way of healing. I miss my grandmother. And I think about all the things that she did that make me miss her. So she lives through me. They both live through me. How I live and love others is how they taught me. And that shows me that they are with me everywhere I go because I keep their legacy alive and how I love, how they loved me, how they lived, I will live. So I pray that you know that no one has died, you know, in in um, insignificance. So God bless you. Thank you for your time. Best day. If you do not have a relationship with God, I pray that you pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Thank you for your works in my life, Lord. Thank you for the people that have been in my life. If they're no longer here, thank you for the time that I had with them. Thank you for the time that they, you know, evolved me, grew me, helped me be what I am. May I be that love and that to other people. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, my grandson is messy. No mouth is. Um, so I just pray that blesses you. Remember your king or queen, reign responsibly, love responsibly, um, mourn responsibly for whoever that word is for. I had to mourn responsibly relationships that left my life. I had to mourn responsibly my children when they were uh, not mourning, but I had to mourn that codependent um, relationship that had to die. So therefore, my relationship with God could grow. I was deactivated in, in codependency. And some of us have that relationship with our family. Some of us have that relationship with our children, grandchildren. Some of us have that relationship with our friends or spouse. Where it's just codependent. Where we feel like we need them. And in the process of God, you know, removing my children for whatever time they had to be removed. God healed me of codependency. He healed me of things that, that like, just, they were gone, but I replaced that with him. And maybe you've lost someone. I remember when I lost my grandma, I was like, okay, Lord, I feel like I'm going to lose my mind. Both my grandmas in the same year. I was like, I'm going to replace the time where I'm sad and I'm crying for them. I'm going to I'm gonna just meditate on your word. So therefore, you can heal areas that need to be healed that I don't know about. And did it happen? Yes. So I can wake today with a thankfulness. Do I get sad? Sometimes I, I get sad, but then I'm like, Lord, like, thank you. Thank you for my grandmothers. Thank you that, that they were such glorious women that loved the Lord. And... um. May I be a piece of what they were, but may I be what God created me to be. So I pray that for each and every one of you. that um, And I don't get tears of sadness. I get t tears of thankfulness because I'm like, who am I to have those people in my life? Who was I to love the Lord because they taught me how? And even things, some of the things they taught me, I had to unlearn them. But it's okay. <laughs> None of us are perfect. So I pray that that blesses you. Thank you for your time invested. Happy Mother's Day to all the kings and queens. Happy Mother's Day to some of the men that may be listening. That you're, 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 you're being a mom as well. Um, many of us have to be fathers. God didn't create us to be fathers. But some of us have to take that. And I pray that the Lord guides you and leads you. How? Because we cannot be mothers. We cannot be fathers. Um, and uh, a father can never be a mother. But I know that God created us in his image. And whatever it is we lack, he is going to um, give us glorious and majestic deeds. He is going to instruct us. He is going to teach us to learn us and unlearn us in areas that we um, need it. So today may not look like what you were praying for. It's okay. God's not done yet. So I'm praying for you and I'm in agreement. Happy Mother's Day and thank you for your time invested. If there's someone that was laid in your heart today to share this, whoever it was prompted right now in the name of Jesus, may you share it with them. Thank you for sharing, liking, subscribing for my YouTube channel. It's growing significantly. All glory to God. Um, thank you for trusting me in this time to grow, evolve, and advance in Yahweh. May your minds be aligned with him and you will advance in him. God bless y'all. I'll see y'all soon. Uh, happy Mother's Day. Bye. Oh, and I love y'all all, and God is at work yesterday, today, and tomorrow. There's a lot of things that you may have experienced yesterday or last year or the years before, and you're looking today, and you're like, wow, had I not gone through that, I wouldn't be walking in and with whom I am walking today. So remember that a lot of the sadness is going to save you 
for what God has for you. God bless. Bye.